If you are a complete AutoCAD beginner and you want to know all about learning AutoCAD right from scratch up to a professional level, then watch this video till the end. In this video, I'll not only share the step-by-step -step method of learning AutoCAD, but also I'll share a list of mostly free and some premium resources like PDF, guides, books and courses that will help you learn AutoCAD from scratch up to a professional level. Now before we start, let me know in the comments down below what is your current AutoCAD knowledge level. Is it a beginner, intermediate or a professional level? So with that, let's get started. Now the step one of learning AutoCAD is getting the software. There is no point learning AutoCAD without the software obviously. So the first step is obviously you should get the software. Now if you are a student then you can get AutoCAD for free from Autodesk with one year license that renews every year as long as you are a student. All you need is a student ID that you can scan and share with Autodesk and they'll give you the license. I've discussed more about this option in an article linked in the description of this video. But what if you are not enrolled in a college or a school and you still want to learn AutoCAD and you want the software for it? Well, in that case, your options are quite limited but not closed completely. You can go for AutoCAD LT, which is really a trimmed down version of AutoCAD without 3D tools and some advanced features like sheet set and data extraction is not available in, in LT. But for learning AutoCAD, AutoCAD LT is really great as it just costs a fraction of what actual AutoCAD license costs and it contains almost all the features of full version AutoCAD as long as you are learning 2D tools and that's all you need when you are just starting to learn AutoCAD. Now the next option is 15 day free trial but as you can see it is quite limited option and not very practical as after 15 days you need to upgrade or you need to install it on a different PC and you simply cannot keep finding new PC every 15 days. So use this trial option only when you are done learning with AutoCAD LT and you want to try only some advanced tools and commands, then only you can go for this full version of AutoCAD. Now other options like flex tokens are not even worth discussing, but yes, they are available. And if you want to check it, well, once again, I have created an article where I've mentioned everything about all the available options that you can check in the description. Now, after you have the software, the next step is learning the basics. And I really mean the basics. You should ignore all the advanced concepts at this stage to avoid the overwhelm. When you are a new user, you should only focus on topics that will get you up and running with AutoCAD like basic draw commands, modify commands, dimensions, annotations, basics of layer, and a little bit about blocks and printing tools. Once you are confident with these basic topics, you can move to the next level or the next advanced topics. You can cover all the basics of AutoCAD with free AutoCAD Essentials course that I've created for this exact reason. This course covers only the basic topics in a step-by-step -step way, all from scratch. And it also has practice lessons and quizzes for self-assessment. Now, these topics are also explained using practical examples. So you'll not only know about using AutoCAD, but you'll also know where to use well specific tools and in which part of the drawing you should use which specific tool. So essentially, you'll not only learn about AutoCAD tools, but also how to use it in a real world scenario. Once again, the link of this course is in the description of this video and it's also in the pinned comment. By the way, it's completely free. Now, on a side note, I have created a massive list of 200 AutoCAD commands in a PDF ebook format. Now, it is also linked in the description of this video and this ebook is also completely free. So, download it and you can use it as a reference when you are learning AutoCAD. Now, step three is practicing with drawings. Now, this step of practicing with 2D drawings is also essential. Well, without this, everything that you have learned so far will be lost sooner than you know. So if you don't practice, you'll simply forget everything that you've learned so far. To practice, you can simply Google AutoCAD practice drawings and from the image section, find as many drawings as you can and make these drawings yourself using AutoCAD. If you don't want to use random drawings from Google, then you can download the free practice drawing ebook that I've created, well, for this specific reason. This AutoCAD practice drawing ebook has nearly 100 practice drawings from 2D as well as 3D AutoCAD. It also has some projects with fully dimensioned drawings. The link of this free practice drawing ebook is also available in the description of this video. 
Now the next step is moving into the advanced AutoCAD territory. Now you know the basics of AutoCAD and you've practiced with simple drawings as well. It's time you start learning advanced topics. For advanced topics, you should rely on professional AutoCAD courses from platforms like LinkedIn Learning and obviously SourceCAD as well. You can also opt for instructor-led trainings, but these are usually expensive. And if you are learning it all by yourself, then these online platforms are really great. Now, these courses are made in a step-by-step -step way, and they explain all the topics with complete detail. Also, the instructors of these courses are subject matter experts who know what they're talking about. And when it comes to professional AutoCAD courses, we at SourceCAD have really nailed it, and we've made this course that fits the requirement well. Well, AutoCAD courses on SourceCAD are super comprehensive. They cover all the topics in complete detail with practical examples, quizzes, and practice exercises. Now, the AutoCAD courses on SourceCAD are made by me, and I am a published author of AutoCAD book by PACT Publication, and I'm also a certified Autodesk AutoCAD professional. Now, apart from LinkedIn Learning and SourceCAD, you can also check other online platforms like Udemy, but I usually don't recommend it as author credentials on Udemy are not always verified but they also have some really great AutoCAD courses. So you can check it if you want. Now as the next step, you should go for AutoCAD certification exam. Well, this step is optional, but useful for users who are looking for work that needs AutoCAD as an essential skill. This certification comes directly from Autodesk and it's the best way to validate your skills. There are essentially two levels of AutoCAD certification, the user level and professional level. Though a beginner can go for user level exam, I never recommend it. Rather, I always ask my students to go for professional level exam. I've explained everything related to AutoCAD certification exam with complete details about exam pattern, syllabus, and more in this video. You can check it in the pin at the top, and also it's linked in the description of this video. We've also created an AutoCAD certification learning path that will help you ace the certification exam in the very first attempt. All you have to do is follow the courses in the learning path from top to bottom. The link of that learning path is also mentioned in the description of this video. Finally, the last step is learning AutoCAD 3D. Now, this step is also optional and only needed if you really want to use AutoCAD for 3D drawings. AutoCAD is not well known for 3D tools, but if you really want to use it for 3D drawings, well, then you should start by learning the basics of AutoCAD 3D. Once again, the free AutoCAD Essentials course that I mentioned previously in the beginning will help you learn the basic 3D tools without overwhelming you with advanced tools and commands. Once you are done with the basics of AutoCAD 3D, you can learn the advanced tools like mesh modeling, rendering, and making manufacturing ready drawings using AutoCAD. The free AutoCAD Essentials course that I mentioned at the beginning of this video contains the 3D part as well. So you should definitely start with that course if you are new to AutoCAD 3D. And if you want to become a pro after learning about the basic tools, then you should go for the comprehensive AutoCAD 3D course that we have on SourceCAD. Now, in this comprehensive course, you'll also learn about making complete project right from scratch with materials, details, full photorealistic renderings, environment settings, and quite a lot more. Once again, the link of this comprehensive AutoCAD 3D course is mentioned in the description of this video. So that was my six-step process of learning AutoCAD right from scratch, along with a list of resources that anyone can use. Once again, let me know what's your current AutoCAD knowledge level. Is it beginner, intermediate level, or a professional level? Just let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know which topic you want us to cover in the next video. I'll see you soon in the next one.